Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to start eating once you are done your detox. It's a very, very important question is how do I how do I start eating again? So this is Gary Parent, in case you don't know me, and hi everybody. Glad you could be here today and listen to this presentation. This is a very important presentation. I just finished today my first 30-day cleanse. So it was very positive. I didn't really get hungry because that's the whole point, right? Not to get hungry while you are detoxing. Now I'm going to use the conductivity light here again and show you a few things to remember as you are starting to eat again. And of course we want live foods and still want live liquids. So I'm going to go more into that in a minute. First I want to talk about when we detox because it's so important to energize the body to make sure that it can be cleansed. Now I have a lemon here and what's inside this lemon is distilled water. And we don't really think about that. You know, it's what's in live food. It goes through the ground, it goes up through the plant, and this is a sterilized container. Distilled water, which is a negative charge. So a lot of people say when you detox, you wash the minerals out of your body. Well, there's two types of minerals, organic and inorganic. And inorganic has a positive charge. So when you start using these things like lemons and, and limes and oranges and whatever it is for you, whatever that you particularly like, the distilled water in here is a negative charge. And in the world of magnetics, which is what we are, which is what the universe is, opposites attract. So this negative liquid in here attracts the positive inorganic matter that's stuck in your body. That's how this works. It's drawing that out of the tissue and it's able to flush it out and it's rehydrating the body at the same time. Very important to understand that. This is why lemons work. This is why live fruits, berries, and melons work, which is in the fruit family. So, there are many reasons to detox and cleansing, general cleanse of the body is probably the most common and I've seen it divided up because our brains tend to divide everything in a million pieces and we get confused by that and I'm just trying to bring simple things to you that you can understand because that's what I need. I need to understand these things in a way that makes sense to me. So when we look at what we're doing, all we're doing is we're trying to remove the inorganic matter from our body that's stuck there and we're going to use things like fruits, berries, melons and vegetables. They don't detox as fast but that's why we use these. They're alive and they're charging our body as well as moving inorganic material. Now when we start eating again, we really should look at all this. I love you guys. Thank you very much. There's so many people and I, I'm sorry I can't read these from here, but I'm working on a way to do that actually. I figured out a lot of things doing these live shows, so it's important to me that I give you as much information as I can but not to overload you with information. And if you'd like me to start doing questions and answers, just uh, put that in the comments and I will look at it later. So I will do these and I will do different videos with questions and answers to help you even more individually because many of you have the same questions. So it would be nice to 
get a general idea of what you're looking for, and I try to do that now, but let's, uh, let's all work together, make this community really thrive and alive with positive energy so that we can all grow at the same time and we won't grow at the same rate or anything, but that's okay. That's why we're here. We're here to learn. And I'm learning just like you are. And I learn from you. That's how powerful you are. So, back to why or how to start eating once we're done detoxing. If you're detoxing like one day to a week, it's not really that hard for you to go back to eating. But I would start, maintain your live liquids. This is the Master Cleanse. This is my second bottle today. After today, I'll do one of these. I may do the apple cider vinegar. I may do this one. I'm not sure. It depends on what my body wants. And I will do my herbal tea. And what's in this blend is marshmallow root, skull cap, and dandelion. So in case I was turned away and you couldn't hear me, marshmallow root, skull cap, and dandelion. Those are three amazing, amazing herbs for the body. So, and they're detoxifiers and they build the body at the same time. Really important to understand when we're detoxing, we're stripping the body. And when we are doing like greens and green smoothies, and I had a question, I want to make sure I answered this. I believe Mary asked me this question. Can you use fruit in green smoothies? Well, we all do a little bit, right? I mean, that's what we're here for, to explore and experiment. So it's, it's how you feel. Now, the only fruit that is compatible with all green smoothies, doesn't matter what it is, is an apple. That's the only fruit that's compatible. So if you're putting fruit in and you're getting a little blowback or you're just not feeling right, take that fruit out and either have a fruit smoothie or a green smoothie. And you can put apples in to sweeten that up. And it doesn't matter what type of apple, just grab an apple and, and uh, put it in there. You can put two in, three in if you want to. So, because some of these can get a little bitter and not everybody likes bitter. So you start out slow, maybe a glass of smoothie or an avocado with a little apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper. Keep it right in the shell if you want to, or make some guacamole, and that is like perfect. It has the oils, because you've been stripped of oils, and you've been stripped of really the inorganic minerals, but let's say you did lose some minerals. Time to replenish, which is why I drink my teas like I do, because they're not only organ and gland specific, but they will remineralize the body at the same time. Doing it the way I do it takes a little longer because detox is obviously about stripping out what you don't want. Now, I don't know how much, I don't have a scale, I don't use scales. That's why we're trained to because corporations want us to buy this stuff. We don't need to buy anything. If your clothes don't fit right, you know, you need to lose weight, right? <laughs> so, and if you're uh, walking and you have a shortness of breath, well, you need to straighten that out. And herbs and live liquids will do that. So, slowly work your way back to eating if you're, I would say, seven days or more. Give your body a chance to build its ability to digest up again. And what's happening during your detox and why it's so important to slowly introduce food into your body is 
your system is nothing but a large filter. That's all it is. It takes what's useful to it and it filters out the rest. And it comes out through the 13 channels of elimination. And I'll go through those again. And they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, 10, front door, 11, back door, 12, the largest eliminated organ in the skin, in the body, and it is your third kidney. So it's eliminating lymphatic waste. And the most important, and the 13th, is your mind. If your mind is congested, if your mind is stuck somewhere on something negative or a relationship or that vibration is going into your body and it's locking your body so that it can't eliminate. So it's really important, really important to take care of your mind and the mind will help the body detoxify. One of the things I wanted to go through, and I, I'm going to actually pick this light up, but right here, this is pure lemon juice. There's no water in there, there's no salt in there, there's nothing but lemon juice. And this is pure, is water from the filter, from our filter over there. And what I wanted to do was make this really simple, okay? And I just thought of this today, and I've been doing this test for a long time, but it came to me, okay? I'll turn the machine on. Electro, this is, it has electrolytes in it, right? Just remember, electro light. Electro light. This is your cell. And if it has electrolytes in it, it will electrify your body. No electrodes. No electrodes. Throw the lemon away and put this in the water and what do we get? No light. No electrodes, no light. So all this dead food that we're eating is slowly, I mean very slowly, poisoning our body and cutting our electrical power off. And that electrical power is the healing part of the body. When you take care of the cells, the cells will heal the body. So I just, I thought of that today and I thought, wow, I have to share that. So, again, electro light. No electrodes. Oops, let's bring up the light. No light. It's that simple. Live food feed your body electrically, your energetic body. We have many bodies, and I'll cover that in a different video. So what else does it do? Or what else does live food do? Okay. It cleanses the body so that it can digest properly. And this, your mouth, is the beginning of your digestive system. That's why it's so important to chew. You should even chew your master cleanse because pre-digestive fluids, which signal the rest of the body as to what's coming, is the beginning of your digestive system. So when you swallow, it's reading that all the way down through, then it, uh, as, your, as your stomach swells because you're eating, it contacts the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder. And they know what enzymes to send in to help digest the food because that's their job. But if you're eating 
live foods, these have enzymes in them. That's why they rot. They're actually eating themselves. Well, when you put that in your body, it's helping to digest the food, and it takes the pressure off from the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder as it's cleaning it. Very important to understand that. What we're trying to replace are the minerals and to keep our hydration up, where 70% water, 85 in the brain. And when we get dehydrated, we start to get aches and pains and all these different things. Okay? So digestion, absorption through the intestinal tract, especially that one foot where the villi are in the small intestine, they're always working like this, pulling the nutrients out of the waste as it goes by, okay? And brings it into the blood, and the blood takes that and oxygen right up through to every single cell in your body. Now, this is another thing that really bugs me about doctors. Why? Forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> Why don't they tell us that? Or how our bodies work. It's crazy. Do you know that if scientists, quote unquote, who say there's a hundred thousand cells, where I was going with that, a hundred thousand cells in the body, who counted them? Did they take a little square inch and try to figure out how many was in that and went, yep, oh, there's a hundred thousand? Well, that's crazy. They don't know, but they tell us like it's fact. And we need to stop listening to them. We don't need to know how many they are. We just need to know how to feed them. And if we feed them properly, they will keep the body healthy, flexible, fabulous, and fit. It's, it's really that simple. So, the absorption, as the Bill I are pulling this out, well, in that intestinal tract, as we get congested, instead of doing this, it starts to build, and all of a sudden, they're doing this. And they can't get the nutrients out, so your cells aren't being fed properly, let alone the electrolyte, right? So you lose energy, and you get tired, and you get weak, and you get lethargic. You can't stay awake. You know, you need that pick-me-up at 2 o'clock in the afternoon or whenever it is. That's why that happens. So absorption, digestion, absor absorption, utilization. How well does the blood carry it through the body to feed the cells? Because it's traveling the interstitial pathway and that cell is sitting in like a petri dish. It can't go anywhere. None of your cells can move. And the blood goes in, and this is another thing about salt, we don't make salt in our body, but yet our water in our body, our lymphatic fluid, has the same salt content as the ocean. That's why the moon, control, <clears throat> excuse me, the moon controls the ocean and it also controls the fluid in our body. Whenever there's a full moon, that works in a nursery uh, for uh, babies. And when we have a full moon, a lot of babies are born because the water is shifting in their body. So we are literally part of the earth and the universe. And it's controlling us because it's a magnetic force. And that magnetic force is so important. And the more we understand that, the easier it will be to keep ourselves healthy. And by the way, I don't really care what you eat. I care about how you feel as you're eating and after you eat. So, I'm going to break my fast with more more liquids. I, I will not 
I'll have one of these every day for the rest of my life. Because if it's important to cleanse the external body, it's important to cleanse the internal body. And that's what this does. And the teas. I probably have two or three cups of tea every day. Never the same mixture. You can, but I, I have probably 50 different teas here, so <laughs> I'm always experimenting and exploring the different avenues so that I can share those things with you. And on my YouTube channel, I have videos on there that show you how to make different teas, what they're for, how they work, how much to have, like marshmallow root, which I just used the last of mine, is great for your digestive system. I mean, it's one of the top herbs for that. It's great for the whole entire body because it moves toxins out. And you can't get rid of things up here until you get rid of what's down below because that's how it happened. You started getting congested and it started to work its way up and it goes all the way up right up into your head. You can end up with pressure headaches and all kinds of stuff. Now if doctors would explain live food to us, we'd be healthy all the time. That's weird. Science. They're always worried about the next chemical they're going to sell. They're not worried about our health. They're worried about their profit. The health of their bottom line. Not the health of the people that they are making all these poisons for. You know, when death is a side effect, you know that you have a, <laughs> you know that you have a problem. It, it, it just blows my mind. It, it, they just... I don't know if they know they're lying to us or not, but you know, there's no such thing as a side effect. There is an effect. That's it. It affects the body because you can't, you can't point to one thing and say, I'm going to make a chemical that fixes that. No, because your body works as one unit. That's why you end up with what's called side effects. So they give you a pill. Oh my God, I'm having trouble with my hip. Well, here, take this pill. Well, now I'm having trouble with my shoulder. Here, take this pill. Now I'm having trouble with headaches. Here, take this pill. And the next thing you know, you're on 10 pills. Now think about this. If you took somebody who was on 10 pills, and they were sick, and you took those pills, and you put them in a bowl, and you ground them all up into a powder, and took them to the police station, and said, you just found that on the road, and to run a test on it, you'd probably be arrested for narcotics. It's crazy. If you took those 10 pills and gave them to a healthy person, do you think that they would stay healthy? No. And they're not going to help a sick person get healthy. The only thing that can do that is our diet. Movement. You know, the clearer we are here, the clearer we are as we move through life. And we can do that with live liquids and helping others. Because as we help others, we heal ourselves. It's crazy. What I, for me to sit back and watch all the stuff that's going on, I sit with chemists that develop drugs and things every day. I was. I can't even be around them anymore. But I was learning a lot of stuff. Their motto is, why clean it out when well, we can cut it out, <laughs> right? And then they put a piece of plastic in there with some synthetic liquid that goes into your body that your body doesn't recognize. Anyway, don't get me started. <laughs> don't get me started. Uh, skull cap. Up a certain brain and nerve. It also helps to reduce pain. I mean, if you just had this, th I mean, th these things are so important to us. This is one of the most impressive herbs I've ever found dandelion. Did dentists ever tell you to uh, 
to drink tandelion tea? Do you know what it does? It strengthens the enamel on your teeth. It helps the kidneys open up. It works with the lungs. It works with everything in the body. I've not found anything that this won't work with. If you had these three things right here, skullcap, marshmallow root, and dandelion tea, just one cup every single day, your whole life would shift. It would change because you're opening up the kidneys, you're opening up the digestive system, and you're increasing circulation in head, feet, and hands. Yikes! <laughs> Three little herbs. And then you add, like the master cleanser, apple cider vinegar, or coconut water, or kombucha, all these different things. You add that with that, oh my God, your body can't help. It can't help but get better. Just like when you're eating the, the SAD diet, the standard American diet, your body can't help but get congested because it's acidic and you'll get sick. Duality. Ooh. Who knew, right? So, digestion, absorption, utilization, the blood being able to travel through and get into the cells. And that's what salt helps the body do. It helps to open up that cell so the nutrition can get inside it. And the last one, and, and every one of these are equally as important. The last one is elimination, which is what we do with this. And the teas. Elimination is your body's ability to be able to filter out what it doesn't want. Through stool, through urine, through sweating, through snot, through tears, through earwax, through uh, spit. It's, it's, cr it's so simple, it's almost insane. And yet, they tell us nothing. They tell us they don't tell us anything about our body that would actually help it. It's here. Take this pill. The average doctor's appointment right now is seven minutes. And they need to get them out. And they can't do anything different than cut, burn, medicate by law. If they do anything different than that, they could lose their practice because they're going to lose their license. And not only will they take their license and their practice, they will drain their life savings. That's why it's so hard for a doctor to do anything. They're stuck in their own system. So, those are the four, four things. Digestion, absorption, utilization, and elimination. You learn those four things. And that electro... We'll do it again. And that electro lights and no electros you're dead. Dead. It's going to be a slow, suffering, painful ride. But you will die because the body has to have energy. You ever see anybody a hundred years old that didn't have hair? No. No. Because their body is in good shape. They I mean they may be a hundred and they may they may have some issues, but they didn't get to be a hundred because they were con so congested. They didn't get to be a hundred because they were so acidic. Their body was able to eliminate. And they're able to do things that people that are 60 years old are dying from. They don't have that. So they're living longer lives. It's crazy. So I don't go to doctors. You probably guessed that. I've, 
The only time I went to a doctor, uh, other than being forced there, like in the car accident where I died, and they did a great job. There's a difference between an emergency room and going to a doctor. Emergency rooms, they don't have time to experiment and explore and here, take this and tell me how you feel tomorrow or next week, okay? And I'll see you in a month or six months or whenever you can get into these places. Be explorers. Be adventurous. Enjoy the journey. Now, there may be some pings and pangs along the way as you start doing this because you have to find the balance of between cooked food and live food. And right now, the cooked food is winning. If you're having issues, you're dehydrated and you don't have enough energy to heal your body. It takes 60% of your energy on that given day, in that given moment. You're forcing your body to give up 60% of its energy to digest that food. That's, and, and it's draining you of energy. That's not how food's supposed to work. It's supposed to energize your body. And to do that, we need liquids. As we hydrate, we heal. If we hydrate properly with live life-giving liquids. And I, I, can't, I don't know how to explain it any simpler than that. But if I figure it out, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, thought, I thought this right here was pretty cool. Electro, lights. No electro, you're dead. That's pretty simple. And my other thing I say is live food, live body. Dead food, dead body. So, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I've cut a few things. Like I said, last day of my 30-day cleanse. If you'd like to, me to do a question and answer thing, what I would do with that is I would write down your questions and then I would do a video on the answers for those. Now I could, I could be here and read those and do them live, but um, I apologize, I, I can't see that well enough and I love you guys. Uh, and keep it simple. You know, I guess I'm going to have to get a big magnifying glass though, and latch up so I can see them. And I will see you in the next video. So, I was, and uh, what I was thinking about was maybe doing a live question and answer on Wednesdays and do the live videos where I share on Sunday, which obviously the Super Bowl was yesterday. So I really tossed it around. It was really close to 7 o'clock when I said I wasn't going to do it. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I haven't had a television in like 25 years. And it doesn't really interest me. It's all programming. That's why I call it programs. They're programming you how to interact with police, or you teach them. Anyway, that's a press for a different video. Today is about how to start eating again. When you detox, you go into it slow, and when you start eating, you go into it slow. And you give your body a chance to adjust, and it will heal. Keep those foods live, and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. I'll see you.